groupies, welcome back to Formal Therapy. This is The Culture Study, and today we are checking out Thriller Killer by VAV. Now, I don't have too many reactions to VAV on my channel because I check them out on my spare time, and I check them out because I had never heard of them. God damn, they're good. I really like them. So this might be my first official VAV reaction. I could be wrong. I like VAV a lot. It's just people were like, please react to them. I'm like, I'm sorry, I watched it on my own. I really like it though. So yeah, I'm excited to check this out. But when it comes to the members, I like two members. I like the one with like the curly hair. Don't know his name. And then I like the guy with the jawline. His name is Jacob. I know that because his name is Jacob and it's pretty goddamn unique and pretty easy to remember. Yeah, let's check out Thriller Killer. Let's get into it. This is your form of therapy. Is that Cheo? Hey, it's Cheo from Daya. What are you doing here? You're not in B &B. Oh. Oh, it's very funky. Oh, this is very reminiscent of one of their older music videos. Is it That Girl Is Mine? Something like that. Ooh, this bass is funky. Is this the chorus? Whoa. 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 Where's curly haired guy? You know, their music videos are always so really well shot. Oh, is that curly haired guy? The one with the blonde hair? I feel like it is. His hair is not curly in this one. Oh. Wow, this song's so powerful. They have not cut to a close-up of Jacob yet. Also, this set is so dope. That is so dynamic. Yo, that screaming, like the, the electronic scream, the filter they put on that is really interesting. Wow. Oh my goodness. This bridge is dirty. That was a dope cut. Okay, where the fuck is Jacob? Okay, apparently Jacob is not a part of this promotion because he is competing on a Chinese Idol survival show.
Okay, besides the fact that my favorite member is not of this comeback, this was phenomenal. God, this song was so ambitious, confident, in your face, slick and smooth. Can you imagine how much better it would be if Jacob was here? I'm sorry, I'll stop talking about Jacob. I'm sorry, but Jacob... Anyways, sorry. I watched Kowon Zonya and now like my emotions are all over the place and now Jacob's not here. I'm just like, oh, okay. Smart PD mode. Okay, so the song is really cool, and right now we're in this uh, trend in K-pop where we're doing like a lot of minimalist stuff, tropical house, deep house, that kind of stuff. This kind of song, we haven't heard it, or we don't hear it a lot in K-pop, in music in general, and this is kind of like early 2010s music, and I mean that in a really good way. The production behind it is complex, the bass is so fucking groovy and confident, and I love that electronic scream you hear in the background, that is so cool. Everything about this is just an excellent production, and when I was doing some research, apparently they were inspired by Michael Jackson, Phil Collins, Prince. I don't necessarily hear Phil Collins in there, but I kind of understand the Michael Jackson and Phil Collins influence just from that one dance break alone. I mean, whoo, boy. It doesn't sound like Michael Jackson, but I can see the inspiration they took from it. Michael Jackson always had like this very slick, sort of smooth criminal type of vibe to him and Prince always had a very too cool for school very chic and stylish vibe to him and that's the thing about this music video it is incredibly stylish this song is really good but one of the things that I think consistently stands out to me about VAV is that the production of their music videos are actually really high quality it's really really good aside from the dance videos they've done which even the dance videos are freaking awesome their title track music videos are always so incredibly is there a better word than luxurious if you've never checked out VAV before, I urge you to check out She's Mine and Spotlight. Those music videos are so gorgeous and I feel like portions of this music video actually reminded me of She's Mine. VAV, they're extremely underrated and I think they are way more talented than the amount of love that they actually get. VAV as a group, as a whole, have this insane sort of electricity and charisma. If you're into boy groups and if you're into dynamic, strong, bold boy groups, one VAV music video and you're gonna be like, I am in. And that's how it was for me. I checked out She's Mine and I was like, holy crap, I need more. I've been following them ever since. It's always been a weird timing issue. I saw She's Mine on my own and then I was like, next comeback, I gotta do it. Then Spotlight and Senorita, like at the time I couldn't make videos and so I just watched it on my own. But this time I was like, oh my God, they're back. I have to do a reaction for them. The thing about all their music videos is first of all, the consistent production value, this clean minimalist look, but it's not boring. That's the thing. They make the type of music videos where it could easily be honestly such a boring mess you know they go for very clean looks they have a lot of solid backgrounds like white or black it could be so boring but whoever is in charge of the direction of their music videos is doing a fantastic job I think and this is pretty high praise I see a lot of k-pop music videos and a lot of them are pretty much it's kind of the same dime over and over again VAV doesn't necessarily do anything that breaks the mold they're not doing anything new but I think VAV is doing the thing that everyone does but I think they do it kind of the best. You know, it's not just the songs. I think their music videos are severely underrated. They deserve millions of views. I honestly don't know what the problem is and why they can't find the mainstream traction that their talent so deserves. Is it because they're in a label that's not as big as all these other labels? I don't know, it's just, they're really good and the music video is so gorgeous. And you know, my favorite set pieces in this music video was probably one of the main dance hall scenes. They had like this circular ring of lights going on. It kind of reminded me of Tang's old wedding dress music video, but a more slicker, darker version. It looked so goddamn cool. One of the members, he had a solo scene with like a bunch of infinity mirrors. That looked so dope. And I don't know how exactly they lit it. Maybe it was above lighting. I've seen a few music videos incorporate infinity mirror sort of concept, but because they had like this ceiling light reflecting off the ground, it, it creates this mirrored bokeh effect all over the floor. It looked so pretty and gorgeous. And that's the brilliance of this music video and a lot of their music video. Every solo set piece, every group set piece is so visually pleasing. Honestly, I hope people who watch my videos give this video a try and they give VAV a try because they're so goddamn talented. I really enjoyed this. Guys, thanks for watching this episode of The Culture Study. Let me know, what did you think of VAV's Thriller Killer? Let me know in the comments down below. Uh, what do you think of the song, the music video? Also, if you'd like to support us, go to patreon.com slash form therapy. For as little as $2 a month, you get early access to videos just like this and 
and we have brand new perks, so go ahead and check them out. Even if you're a current patron, hey, you might enjoy the new perks, you might want to change your perk tiers, so, you know, check that out. However, you don't have to support us monetarily, that's completely optional. If you want to, you can click like down below, it is free, helps us out with YouTube search algorithm, you got nothing to lose. Also, go ahead and click subscribe over here if you're new, turn on the notification bell, be notified when we upload a new video, and go ahead and check out all our other videos over here.